Hey everyone, um, yeah, I'm sorry for, um, just to start off, I'm sorry that I'm looking all raggedy with my beanie and my hair just all nappy. <laughs> um, I'm actually about to go in the shower to sh and straighten my hair, so. As you can see in the title, I have a haul for you guys. It's a, it's a, it's kind of like a small random haul. I went to a couple places, um, Victoria's Secret, Ulta, um, Sephora, a few things from Sally, and then Target. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, then stay tuned. Okay, so first and foremost, what I have right in front of me, I went to Victoria's Secret. Now, um, many of you women may know that they usually have their semi-annual sale, um, maybe once or twice a year, I'm not even sure, I don't keep up with that. But um, yeah, I wanted to check it out. I went the other day, um, but I, I didn't really find anything in like the bra section, the underwear section, um, I don't know. For me, I've bought tons and tons of Victoria's Secret bras and they always seem to break on me. So maybe um, that's a sign that I should try something different. I heard that um, that other store has really good bras. Shoot, I'm like blanking on the name. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry about the bra talk. I got um, fragrances basically and um, I can't wear really strong perfumes a lot. I usually only wear them when I go out at night, but like during the daytime I can never have anything too heavy because it will give me a big headache throughout the entire day and I'm really sensitive to smells. But um, yeah, I got a whole bunch of body sprays so they're a lot lighter and I can throw them in my purse. Um, I heard a lot about these on YouTube like a long time ago and I was, was like, oh I've never smelled this before. I didn't know that they had um, fragrances for that like brand of Victoria's Secret. Um, it is the pink body sprays. And um, the one I got is Pretty and Pure. And this, um, it says on the website that it smells, or it's um, pink lemonade and pure jasmine. So it um, doesn't really smell like pink lemonade to me, but it is a, a fruitier smell with kind of like a floral scent. I don't know, I like it. It's really girly and it's not too strong on, like I said. Then the other one I got was in Fresh and Clean. And this is my favorite. I have this one in my purse right now and I already <laughs> made a little dent in it. Um, but this one is said to be apple and fresh lily or soft lily. So um, I don't see where they get the apple from, but it smells like you just got out of the shower. It smells very, very fresh. So yeah, I like this one. I like this one better, the two, but yeah. Each of them individually if you bought them one, uh, one by one, it's $15. If you get two, you get them for 22 bucks. So I bought two, 11 bucks each. Um, and then the third one that I got was actually on the like clearance shelf, clearance rack, whatever. I think it was like 50 or 75% off. And it is the At First Sight body spray. Um, it's Romantic Violet and Bergamot. And this one has a citrus smell to it and floral as well so that's the kind of smell I like usually go for kind of more floral I don't know I'm just like all over the place but I don't like really fruity smells like really candy fruity smells those give me a big headache but I, I think I got this one for three bucks so yeah I don't know if they still have it but it was like on the 50% off or 75% off like rack so I got that. And then the last two things I got was like a gift set and the gift sets were all 75% off. And, and it is this gift set. It has the Sexy Little Things Noir, Dream Angels Heavenly scent, very sexy, and Victoria's Secret Bombshell Mist. They're all like body mist, so they're not the heavier scent, which is good for me. Um, I, I've smelt them all. I've actually used three of them, one, two, or three. I haven't really used that one, but um, I've used most of them and I like them all. They're they're more of the travel size so it's good to put in your purse. Um, yeah. The original price for this is 38 bucks and it was 75% off so I got it for $9.50. Definitely can't beat them. If you like the smell, this is definitely a good buy um, because it's good for traveling, good for purse. Yeah. I got two of them. <laughs> And because the price was so good, I mean, I don't know. I don't go through body sprays and perfumes too much. So, I mean, I can stock up. As long as I don't get, like, bored of the scents, then it's money well spent. But, yeah, I got two of them. I don't know. I had to somehow justify that purchase. 
Um, but yeah, that's all I got from Victoria's Secret. Um, the next place I went to was Ulta, and I didn't get anything real cool. I used um, Joyco shampoo and conditioner for I think about three months, and I only use it to use it up and not to waste it. Um, but prior to using that, I've used Redken, I've used, you know, the Biolage, and this was my favorite of all, and I went back to it. It's the Matrix Sleek Look um, Shampoo and Conditioner, and yeah. It's in the liter size, so it's the big size. This usually lasts me about three or four months. So it's money well spent. They were on sale at Ulta, $15 a liter. And then I went to Sally's Beauty Supply um, after work today. And I, I mainly went there to get a brush. And my hair's really, really long. It's about right above my butt length. I would show you guys why it's curly, so it's not even gonna matter. But I got a really big brown, round brush. Now I usually like the brushes that have like an empty space here so it can go through and dry my hair faster. So I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but I always need a really big, um, this is a two inch thermal round brush. It's more bristles, so it's gonna help um, nourish my hair and dry it faster. Um, but yeah, I got this, I think it was on sale for six bucks. So I guess we'll see how that turns out. And then the only other thing I got from Sally's is this brush, I don't know if you could see it. Um, it's a synthetic liner brush, or you can use it as concealer, but I bought it for the liner purpose. Um, I wanted to try this type of brush to see if it'll help me apply my gel liner easier or like better. I guess you can say, uh, right now I'm using just like a slanted angled brush. Um, and then I also use the Bent Eyeliner Brush. So I just wanted to try something new. This was like five bucks, so yeah trying that. For Target, um, I got a couple things. Nothing too excited. Um, first and foremost, I bought one of these quads from Wet n Wild um, maybe a couple weeks ago and I was so impressed with it. It's the Vanity Palette. So I wanted to try the other ones. Target only had two of them in stock. I'm not sure how many more they have, but um, I know I've seen one with like blues and greens, which like brighter colors, which I know I wouldn't wear, but I got the other two more neutral ones. Um, Lust is the purple one. It's really pretty. I actually used this um, one night when I went out um, to my friend's birthday and I got a lot of compliments on it. It was really cute, really nice um, nighttime smoky eye. And then the other one is in Greed. This is also it has some blacks in it so you can make it into a smoky eye. I actually have it on right now. It looks really crappy because um, I went to work, came back. I don't know, it doesn't look the same, but um, I did a tutorial on it, like a quick um, like daytime smoky eye, and I liked the way it turned out. My coworker said that it was really cute. So yeah, these palettes were five bucks, so I love them. Um, definitely worth the money. Um, and then the only other thing I got from Target was the Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in Blush and Bronze. And it's said to be a dupe for um, the NARS Laguna and Orgasm. But um, I have yet to try it. But this is what it looks like. A contouring powder and then a blush. And it has a mirror here. It's very NARS-esque. I'm sure you've seen this a million and one times, but I wanted to try it. It was three bucks. And then last but not least, I'm gonna get it really quick. I'm so excited for this, so give me a second. Um, I went to Sephora. Now, I, I know I'm gonna be really late and probably really lame that I'm showing you this right now, but my Sephora's have been sold out. Online has been sold out. The Urban Decay website has been sold out. And finally, I went to my Sephora and I was like, oh, they have it. Like, oh my God, I need to get it. And I, I didn't want to pass it up because maybe, yeah, maybe it won't be there again. I even went to Ulta prior to going to Sephora and they didn't have it. So anyways, to help further ado, I got the Naked Palette. Again, I know I'm like super late, so. Yeah, excuse my excitement. I'm sure you guys have seen a million and one of these again, but I'm so excited. I swatched it in the store millions of times, and I'm like, oh, I want it, I want it, and it always says that they're in the process of making it, and 
Sorry, they're out of stock, but um, let me show you. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. Comes with a little baby um, Ur Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I like. So I'm glad to take that. <laughs> um, and then it's kind of like a felt velvet, um, not felt, uh, velvet material on the outside. And this is what the shadows look like if you haven't seen them. It has matte shades, shimmery shades, satin shades. And um, then you also get the 24-7 um, Glide On Eyeliner Pencils in Zero and in Whiskey. So the black and the brown, which I have both of these in the full size and I love them. So that's a good one. So yeah, I'm really excited to have this finally. Oh, I see like all these people like on YouTube showing in. I'm like, oh, I'm jealous. I can't find it and I didn't want it bad enough to order it and pay extra on eBay. So I was just like, oh, I'll wait till they make more or I'll wait till I can get my hands on it. And as soon as I seen it at Sephora, I'm like, oh, mother, I have to buy it. Um, but yeah, I saved the best for last. I hope that wasn't boring. Um, definitely, if you guys are interested in Victoria's Scents, check them out before everything sold out because there was like not much left. Um, yeah, expect more tutorials for me from the new Wet n Wild palettes. I'm like I said, I'm so impressed with these. I love these. Um, my, my next video should be, or after those videos should be the my hair care video. I've been meaning to do that, but again, um, been slacking a bit. I'm sorry. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.